Monster Thursday might have hit a snag, but Strange Anime License Friday rolls on. This week, new friend of the show, Kevin and Nantucket, took time away from being the object of body limericks to send us the Game Gear version of Clamp's Magic Knight Ray Earth, a touching tale of three color-coded girls trying to rescue their industry-mandated cute mascot animal thing. And in a move that shocks absolutely no one at this point, it's an RPG. Again, due to industry mandate. So grab your, um, feathers and put your Persicom to sleep. Okay, so I've run out of clamp references. Here's some gameplay footage. Sorry, I should have mentioned to you that you should take something for motion sickness before watching this video. And a move that left me completely baffled, the mechanic for battle timing boils down to... a roulette? A roulette where full body sprites indicate recovery from their last attack and close-ups indicate readiness. You can speed up and slow down the roulette, which I'm led to believe increases or decreases your attack power, I think. In truth, Kevin from Nantucket didn't include an instruction manual and the game isn't big on telling you exactly how much damage you're dealing, so it's mostly just intuition and guesswork. As much as we might complain about interminable tutorials in this day and age, frankly I could have done with one right here. Regardless, the combat itself reminds one of Final Fantasy's ATB systems, with certain characters becoming active at different times instead of taking one solid turn. It's pretty decent for 1994 on the Game Gear. What's not decent though is the rate of random battles. If you ever thought Pokemon was bad, this game will make you hug every tentacle and Zubat you come across. Behold, one step. One. Step. While the combat is fairly decent, the design of the quest is a bit questionable. The first three types of enemies you face are the exact same sprite with a different number stuck on their forehead. Get past a forest of those jerks and you get to a village where you fight the same dude seven times in a row. And you thought those freaking moles in Earthbound were bad. Still, if you can stomach the constant spinning, it's a pretty fair experience and can be used as a placeholder if, like me, you're still selling off internal organs in hopes of obtaining the US release of Magic Knight Ray Earth for the Saturn. So, anyone need a kidney or three? 